All right, guys, finally leaving for the first event of the year, the Harris Chain, leaving at 1 p.m. Yeah, that's pretty much how my day's gone so far. But man, she's looking fancy today. I'm ready to get there though, man. It's like a 17 or 18 hour drive. The truck's nasty, I was gonna wash it. That didn't work out. But, you know, it's just obstacles. Every once in a while you have some of those. Definitely had one today, no doubt. This was the main obstacle. I wanna show you real quick. Check this out. Yeah. That's my house. That's my driveway. Kind of hard to get your boat out of that whenever uh, you're trying to leave. Makes it a little bit more difficult. But we got it out. Had to do some four wheeling to get it out. Probably should have filmed that. It would have been pretty cool. Because what I had to do, I don't ever want to do again. I can promise you that. So, on our way to Florida. It's going to be a good trip. Looking forward to that. This is the official first of the year travel vlog i'm gonna do a lot better job this year guys i'm gonna try to make sure and get everything filmed that i can so make sure you stay with me hang with me let's get it done let's make the elites this year we're gonna the road to the elites we're gonna make it this year i got a good feeling so stay with me and let's see what happens next <laughs> for the night in Jasper, Alabama. What a long trip. I, I'm definitely like, you always, we always start in Florida and uh, I definitely uh, know that uh, it's, it's long. I'm just tired guys, I'm super tired. But one thing about it, so when you get a new boat, the best thing you can ever do, and this, I mean, it's opinion obviously, is to leave your cover off on the first rain, let it get washed off. Because the thing is, if it's too shiny and looks too good and too dry, like you, you baby it too much. You gotta, you gotta let it get its first dirt. You gotta, you gotta hit its first dock. You gotta let it get its first rain. That's that is a fact for me at least. So road trip update. I'm driving between Birmingham and Montgomery, Alabama. And I noticed a sign for the first time I've never seen before. And it was a drowsy section, a four mile section of the road. Beware of drowsy drivers. I mean, I've seen a lot of signs traveling. That is, that's definitely a new one. And I've actually seen a sign every mile for the next four that talked about drowsy driving and there's like a rest area i mean it's actually great that they're promoting like if you're tired go take a nap i mean i get it but like definitely a little different i mean i definitely uh i, I needed that last night because i got really sleepy but i ended up stopping really looking forward to hair's chain you know this is a time when you know Unlike most guys, when I'm driving to an event, I don't, I don't listen to music. I don't really do anything. I, sometimes I'll, I'll put like a, a YouTube video up of maybe the lake I'm going to. In this case, Harris Chain. I'll, I might have a video playing over my, my Bluetooth, and I'll just listen to like what's going on and how they're catching them. And I just kind of like to be over involved with fishing. Or I'll just turn everything off and just think the whole time I'm driving and then I'll actually have my notes pulled up on my phone and I'll actually put in notes of things that, whether it's a YouTube idea or um, or maybe some baits I gotta tie on or possibly restock. I really use it as a self-reflection time. I, and I think we all kind of need that sometimes. Is that the little bit of quiet time. So guys, this is where we are staying. Check this out. It's a huge house. Holman got us this place. Let's check this out real quick. So we got, there'll be three boats down through here. And 
me and Holman there. Let's walk inside, take a look at it real quick. I'm about to hit the water one more day. I just know y'all like to see it. So that's Matt and Kyle, Kyle Walters. He's only about 7'4". He could dunk standing without jumping. You know, we got the big TV. I can go show you my room. Actually, it's funny. It's not just my room. There's four of us in one room. So check out this setup. This is actually pretty cool. Let's see if we have a light on in here. There we go. So it's dueling bunk beds right here. So there's four of us. There's Billy got a bass here. There's Matt there. There's Holman's buddy there. And me here. Four in one room. Holman and Kyle get their own rooms because they're the biggest and we're scared of them. So that's the official little house tour of what we got. It's not bad. It's actually the probably the best place we've stayed in the last few years. Um, and it's not very expensive either. It's on Lake Ola, so it's right next door to uh, the lake. So it's not, not too far. Harris chain though, it's full of big decisions. We're gonna talk about that here shortly though. Not real sure how it's gonna go, but um, staying cautiously optimistic. That's gonna be the term for this year, cautiously optimistic. Shitter is the yeah, worst. I feel like I'm 12. Yeah. I'm like sitting there floor. just like it's tapping my thing. feet together. I just took a crap on that toilet and my feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> I was that far too short. Like four inches. My feet don't touch the floor. It's, it's way too high, high man. I had to get up on my tiptoes to pop up on it. That toilet don't make sense. That toilet's for you, Kyle. <laughs> oh, my feet barely fit. I think I'm scared of things going to come to fly. <laughs> I, felt, oh, oh, yes. I literally felt like I was standing up while I shit. Yeah. So all yeah, the toilets are the same? It's all messed up. I'm like, what? it was a They're new awful. feeling that I had never I'm experienced. like, lean, do I lean forward? Do I lean back? I don't I don't understand what to do. It's just all messed up, man. I was out of sync. I, I was like out of sync, step trying step to get the toilet off. paper, and I'm like falling off. It was just weird. Dude, that's how your salad's for real. We have our own personal chef, by the way. His name's Matt. He made us all of this this morning. One more day to practice. Actually, like a half a day of practice. It's not even a full day. And it's not even a half a day because we're only getting out there about 9 o'clock because it stormed its butt off this morning. But uh, almost done. Almost ready for game time, whatever that means. Hello. Hey, Greg. It's Nate Slate, your co-angler for tomorrow. How you doing, Nate? Good. Yourself? Pretty good. So, what what were you wanting to do to meet in the morning? Uh, well, I'm gonna come over by boat. Okay. So I'll just meet you at the, uh, you know, somewhere on a dock or somewhere right there around uh, Blast Off. Perfect. I tell you what I'll do. I'll just come over to. I'll meet you on the dock at the boat ramp. That'll work. Uh, That'll work. I'm, I'm, just, I'm staying over on the other side of the lake, so uh, I'm just gonna come over by boat. That'll work. I'm actually probably coming over by boat as well, cause I'm rooming with Hallman. Okay. So. With who? Hallman. Shit, I wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> dude is strange, man. He's a weird man. There's no doubt He's about a weird it. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'll be over there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we see don't leave till late. Dark hey, you got an extra roll of toilet paper in that boat? <laughs> uh, I got two extra rolls. <laughs> two extra rolls. Oh gosh. Perfect. Uh, so blast off at six forty-five. I'll probably be over about six forty-five to be honest with you. Okay. What time? Thirty what, to six forty-five. I'll have to wake Holman up extra early. Um, well, we can get over later than that. If I don't know when, what time does he take off? What flight is he in? Uh, I'm not sure what flight he's in. He's somewhere. He's about 100. 100 and something? 120 something? Oh, okay, but we don't have to be in no hurry. So I, no. I figured I'd get over about, you know, I just don't want to be in their way when they start blasting off, but I'd get over about blast off about 645. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. And I got a, uh, uh, 
an academy rap phoenix. Perfect. White. We'll find you. We'll be, we'll be throwing it weeds. <laughs> <That's> throwing it <laughs> weeds. <laughs> Perfect. Spin, right. Spinning rod. I'll see you in the morning. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, guys. That is a wrap for the travel and practice vlog. Obviously, this week at Lake Harris, the Harris Chain, has been a very trying event. So I'm going to walk you through a few things that I'm getting some bites on uh, that, you know, day in and day out, I think absolutely – I mean, just catch fish. Um, one of them is a staple here in Florida. Where is that? Oh, it's right over here. I thought I was at the wrong rod. So this is super secret, guys. Talked about it the other day, the cutter worm. Rage cutter worm. I'm going to be throwing a cutter worm a lot. So I'm throwing it on a 3 16th ounce weight, three odd hook, 20 pound braid, just like I talked about in my video. I'm going to be chunking a speed worm a lot. So I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to be throwing the cutter worm and the process behind throwing the cutter worm. So when you're in Florida, you got to fish kind of like a Floridian. Is it Floridian? I think it's Floridian. So you got to kind of fish like a Floridian. So there's a lot of pressure on the lake. You know, if I go to Lake Griffin, I'm going to have to fish really slow, methodical, put my head down. You know, put um, you know something over my head so I can't see around me because there's going to be 100, 150 boats over there, and I, that's no joke. So there's going to be 150 people who walk through to Lake Griffin, and it's going to fish tough. So the more subtle, the more control, the more that you can truly focus on each and every cast, the better off you're going to be. You're going to catch more bass, and that's exactly what I'm going for here. Like I said, practice was really tough. Um, I don't really, I don't have a weight expectation, but like I told y'all before, if you watch anything that I've been doing lately, my number one goal this year is to be consistent. And to be consistent, sometimes you don't take as big a risk, but you still take a controlled risk. So this week, I'm the first day, I'm about 207. I am really nervous. I'm going to start on Lake Harris. I'm going to flip some, some grass. I'm going to go catch a couple spawners, hopefully, that are still there maybe. And then I'm going to go to Lake Griffin and, and slowly reel that cutter worm around and hopefully put five big ones in the boat. I'm not doing until like almost 6 o'clock. So I started at 6.45. That's when takeoff is. You know, my number probably won't be called until like 7.45. And then, uh, and then I'm not doing until almost 6 p.m. So... It's going to be a long day, but that's good. And that, and I think I'm going to need that long day to catch what I feel like I need to catch. So I'm going to be working on trying to be extremely consistent. I feel like I'm in a good mindset right now. I'm, I'm very calm, but I'm a little stressed out because, you know, it's the first term of the year and you want to do well and you put all these high expectations on yourself. And I'm the world's worst at putting too high of expectations on myself. I feel like that's a fault of mine absolutely um but overall though like i can't complain you know it's been a good week we've had a lot of fun uh the fish are are gonna bite for somebody they're gonna hopefully bite for me i hope they bite for these guys i want them to all have a good event and you know we got some good guys in the house this week we got pangrack we got Holman, you know, we got Holman right here. What up? So, Holman, what are you thinking? What's your game plan for tomorrow? You don't have mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. First term of the year. Don't mess I messed up. up last year. First term of the year. I screwed yeah. up. Yeah. Don't want to have a don't want to have a 120th, 150th place finish first term of the year. Like, don't mess up. Yeah, don't mess up. I, I think that's good advice. I think Holman's going to have a good tournament. He always tends to have good tournaments. We got Pangrak. He wants to get off to a rolling start, I know. I want to get off to 11 pounds a day start. I, I think that's two pounds. Two, two pounds. Two pounds. Two and a quarters you all day. You flip them. You don't have to worry about yeah, them coming yeah. off. Just yeah. Yeah. You're not going to be starting. Yeah. So, so then we have Nate Dog over here. And Nate Dog. What's up? He drew his hero. His angling hero. And Greg <laughs> Hagley's hero. 
Greg Hackney. He drew the yeah. Greg Hackney. Not like the Jason Christie. You know, like there's two Jason Christies. But the actual Greg Hackney. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I'm definitely going to do some learning. No doubt about it. And, and Hackney told him that we're throwing towards the weeds. So he yeah, gave him yeah. some really good clues there. Throwing towards the weeds. And then we got my one and only one of my best buddies, Billy God uh, Bass. Hello. And Billy is title sponsor's Lunker Text. So check out Lunker Text. And check out Billy Got a Text. Billy Got a Text. com. You can sign up under me. It's free, man. It's yeah, free. It is free. And they give, you know, like they actually have striking baits on there, I'm pretty sure. They have a lot of things, and they'll send you deals to your phone that you absolutely can't pass up. And as a fisherman, you got to get and jump on top of that, no doubt about it. So, guys, that is a wrap for the travel practice of Vogue here at the Harris Chain. Not real sure how it's going to go. I hope it goes well, though. I really want all of us to do well this year. But most importantly this year, guys, we're going to have some fun. We're going to put our head down, and we're going to focus. We're going to catch some bass. So thank you for staying with me. Day one starts tomorrow.